My name is Chief John Manmiller. I'm from the Fleetwood Volunteer Fire Department up in Pennsylvania. Come from a town of about 4,000. We run a couple square miles, um, but we do have some heavy industry in our area. So we opted to replace our 1999 commercial chassis uh, walk-in rescue with a new E1 um, a 20 foot box walk around. So on the front of the truck, we have uh, extended bumper, heavy duty bumper with an airline and an electric cord reel, as well as hitch points that are at four different locations on the truck. One in the front, on the back on each side, and at the rear of the truck uh, for a portable winch. We currently have a 2015 Emax E1 pumper, and we opted to replicate on our rescue truck, the same cab, the same length, ALS compartments accessible from the inside or the outside, maximum compartmentation on the inside with uh, back wall compartments as well as forward wall compartments, and a command box uh, roll up with a roll up door, seating for six with transverse capability underneath the back seats. We have a transverse compartment and forward in the L1, R1 position with a pull-out tool board that pulls out on either side of the truck. We have a transverse tray with a divider to mount rescue tools on both sides. And we have storage underneath for uh, other extrication equipment. On the L2, R2 side, transverse compartment, we have four, there's two pull-out trays on either side, fully adjustable, along with uh, storage at the bottom on each side for cribbing, uh, rehab supplies, and they are both pull-out, full-length trays. Also on the passenger side, in the wheel well compartment, we have a speedy dry hopper to hold 50 pounds of speedy dry that we can dump into a, a, a bucket or refill what we already have used. R4 compartment, passenger side, rear, three adjustable shelves, an electric rewind reel, and also two fully adjustable uh, tool boards that tools can be mounted on either side. They pull out, they don't lock, they're nice and stable, good construction. On the back of the truck, we have two truck mounted, uh, tripod lights that are portable. You can take them off, uh, use them at scenes. Uh, they'll also work when the, the truck scene lighting is on. We have ladder storage at the top, contains a 28 foot two section ladder and a 16 foot roof ladder. The B1 compartment has storage for uh, four pike poles and an attic ladder. Two trays, both are 10 and a half feet long to store a lot of long cribbing, our, writ, uh, our Stokes basket uh, with writ equipment. Driver's side, L4 compartment. Uh, we had specific parameters. We wanted to be able to store a little giant ladder back here, which they accommodated. This is also going to be our uh, ventilation. Our, our fans are gonna be on the lower pullout tray. Our saws, our vent saws are gonna be in the second tray, and our saw accessories are gonna be up top. Most of our compartments all have uh, 110 outlets in them. Some of them actually have 12 volt as well, so that we can put chargers on, bat recharging batteries, um, charging fans. We also have the awning controls for a 20 foot carefree awning. So Wes Saltz, the president of First Choice Fire Apparatus, did everything that we asked him to do. It was timely. It, it, the, the specs that we asked for, we got. It's the second truck that we bought from First Choice Fire Apparatus, and we're looking to work uh, closer in the future. The sooner we can get this truck in service for our community, the better. Uh, our current rescue truck is 20 years old. It's seen its, it, it's, it's, seen its life, and uh, we're excited to get this truck into the community for everybody.